Hello, in this presentation we will download the QuickBooks Pro 2018 desktop version from the Intuit website. It is possible to purchase QuickBooks on ground at an office supply store and possible to purchase online as we are doing here. This is purchasing from Intuit's website. Intuit is the owner of QuickBooks. So we're here at the QuickBooks website at the Intuit website. It is possible to purchase at other locations like Amazon but just make sure that you know where you're purchasing from and it's a secure place to purchase from. I'm going to scroll down through the site. The site will change over time, but uh, the purchasing options should remain. Note that QuickBooks is uh, has an online version. We'll do a comparison with the online at a later time. There's pros and cons to the online version. We here are looking for the desktop version to actually download it to the desktop and work through the desktop. That's kind of like the original QuickBooks version and uh, that's what we will be working with here. I'm going to scroll down to the options. We're looking for the products and we're looking for QuickBooks Pro. So I'm going to click on QuickBooks Pro. QuickBooks will update the software pretty much every year. These are the options we have here. We got QuickBooks Pro uh, 2018. That's what we are looking for. This is the current price point. We have the Premier 2018 and you can go through the uh, added options that we have in the Premier through the check marks here. So we've got 150 industry specific uh, run reports on the Premier and they have a different some uh, forecasting options, uh, industry specific features. And therefore, basically the concept would be that Pro is going to be for the majority of users. If we're looking for specific items, then it's possible that Premier would be useful. And then we can look into the enterprise for more specific options. We're going to start here with the QuickBooks Pro. As you go through the purchasing process, QuickBooks may prompt you for some other things to purchase, one being uh, pay payroll. Now, here's the option for payroll. It may be something you want to consider, but you may want to consider it at a later time. There will be an option to purchase pay payroll at a later time. So I would go through uh, this. I'm going to go through it and continue without the payroll at this time and just download the QuickBooks Pro. We're then given our options here. We've got um, the method is going to be a download. The users is one, and that's going to be the items that we will have here. Clearly, then we're going to have the payment options. Once we complete this process, we're going to have our information here, and we can then download. You will have a license number and product number. You're going to want to keep that in place. Maybe screenshot the screen here and keep that in a place where you can go back and uh, get back to into it if there are any problems. So we're going to go ahead and download. Depending on the browser you have, you may have an icon down here with the download option. This is within Chrome. If you're in uh, Firefox, it's probably going to have an arrow up top. And in, if you're in Explorer, it's going to have some other indication, probably a bar that will indicate the download. You're going to want to open up the downloaded item in whatever format is there. And of course, we're going to have to allow it uh, to, to run with the security system. And it does take some time for Intuit to run this. this Intuit uh, QuickBooks is a fairly large program. So uh, give it some time to run, get some coffee, let it get set up. Once the program has been downloaded and unzipped, it should automatically prompt you to have to run the program. If it doesn't, you'll go through there and go ahead and run the program. But uh, it should automatically prompt that. If it does not do so, you're probably going to see a setup QuickBooks on your desktop that has been implemented on the desktop and you could try to run that as well or do a search for uh, QuickBooks and uh, run the setup process like so. So we're going to say next and let it run the setup process. Once again, this will take some time, so uh, give it some time to, to run through this. QuickBooks is a large program. We will, of course, have to accept the terms. So, you know, we we'll want to go through all the terms here, read through the terms, accept the terms, and next. You will then have a page prompting the license and product number. Now, that was given to us when we were to download the product and we said to screenshot the page. So, now we're going to enter that product number and uh, license number here. Once that has been completed, we have the setup process express or custom network options. 
Typically, if uh, we're going to use the default, which is the default, which will be Express, if we have some custom network options that need to be configured, then we're going to probably want to work with uh, IT a bit more and make sure that we're configuring the custom network options. I'm going to go here with the Express. Once that has been completed, QuickBooks will once again be going through a fairly extensive installation prog process. Remember, QuickBooks is a fairly large program, so let it think and let it process. Once this has been completed, we should eventually see an icon on the desktop that uh, will be the QuickBooks program. And of course, that is where we will open the program.